Now in other news, detectives, including cybercrime experts, are trying to establish how criminals managed to hack into the National Youth Service system and committed 826 million shillings to private companies. Devolution Secretary Anne Waigurhaiva says money was not lost as the attempted fraud was discovered in good time before payments were made. KTN's Rita Tinina now reports. With an expanded mandate which has seen an increase in the number of servicemen and women by more than 20,000, the National Youth Services allocated billions of shillings to execute its mandate. In the current financial year, 17 billion shillings was set aside for the NYS. But some have been eyeing the money in unscrupulous ways. So somebody got into the system, who now we're trying to investigate who it is, and made very many commitments of similar transactions. The commitments amounting to 826 million shillings were made at night, raising the first red flag that prompted the ministry to call for investigations. I am the one who wrote to the CID asking them to investigate transactions that had been reported in the IFMIS as being suspect. Investigators, including cybercrime experts, are trying to establish, among other things, whose password was used to log into the system. It's possible that um, it's external, but it's also possible that it is internal. So we don't want to speculate until the CID gives us the information. The cabinet secretary, however, says that the attempted fraud was discovered before it was too late. From the said transactions, no money had been lost as we nipped the activities in the bud and were able to stop it before we lost any money. At a press conference, Waigoro dismissed claims of a rift between her and the NYS Director General, Dr. Nelson Gedenji. We have a very, very close functional working relationship. The Cabinet Secretary also defended the appointment of Adan Gedo Harake as the NYS Senior Deputy Director General, saying it was done in accordance with public service procedures. Rita Tinina, KTN.